decided I'd give a little update kind of where I'm at. I was running wires for my center console and I got most of those completed. And uh, from there I decided to go back to my header tank, which is on the other side of this guy, um, label some of those wires and start running those forward as well. Along with my uh, wire, the white wire you see sticking up over there is for my, uh, my uh, fuel flow sender. So I was gonna get all that wired up and uh, then I realized I ran out of uh, wire. So I started working on my uh, autopilot while I was waiting for the wire to get here. I knew that would be uh, kind of a little task in itself. Just gonna give a quick overview. I'm using the GRT servos and their standard mounts. Um, you kind of are left up to your own design to uh, put these servos in. The RV community, uh, some of the bigger companies uh, Dynon, Garmin, in fact, even GRT has setups for the RV series aircraft, but nothing for Zenith at all. And uh, so I end up creating my own little brace in here. This floor is pretty thin. I want to give this structure as much rigidity as I can. Uh, this is my roll servo, and this is kind of how I mounted this. I have uh, two L angles, extrusions, and then an angle I made over here that that kind of ties into along with one on the front, along that cross brace right there. Um, and it stiffens up this floor over here. I put a little L angle on the inside of this. So that stiffens up my roll. Um, pretty good, actually. This is pretty solid. Um, you can see I got this kind of temporarily rigged. Um, the servo arm, control rod, going to my, I think it's a torque tube, I believe. And I put a hole down below, and here's where I just disconnected my uh, other control rods going to my flaperons for now, but just so they'd be out of the way. But I got that temporarily just kind of mounted there. And uh, the first flight, I'm not going to uh, fly with these control rods even in place. I'm just going to have these totally disconnected. I am going to have these servos mounted, though, wired, everything ready to go. It's just a matter of going to be controlling or putting these control rods back on. So this side wasn't bad. You go to the other side for pitch, though, and that becomes, that was a little bit more of a task. I wasn't sure what to do on that one. As far as my bracing and everything else, let me kind of give you an idea how we're at. Here's my pitch. A um, couple L uh, extrusions, kind of like before, along with these little uh, L angles on, the, on both sides here to help giving that some rigidity right there. Uh, little square tubing there for some rigidity as well and uh then i have this uh control rod connected to uh this area on this horn right here for pitch and i'm gonna put some spacers uh on that that's adding that slight angle you want it as parallel as you can to the the tubes here so i'm gonna put some spacers probably some longer bolts in here just to make that look a little bit more um, in line with the other tube there so it's more of a straight shot even with that these braces in place this skin would still flex quite a bit in here so what i end up doing is you can see some rivets you kind of see the little nub sticking out uh, right there and i have uh, three rows of rivets and I, what i end up doing is putting a little bit of a, a brace on the bottom side of that you can see these, the two braces down there, just to give it some added thickness, along with these square tubes here. I think they're three quarter inch by three quarter inch uh, tubes as stiffeners. And that really made this a lot better. I, it's gonna shake now because I don't have the, I have the bolts in, but I don't have the nuts on at all on the bottom side of that. Um, so that stiffened this whole area up a lot. I believe I'm about done. I gotta take these back out, safety wire them. There's some bolts right here. You gotta safety wire the heads onto the mounts. And uh, I think that'll be about it. Uh, I'll mount these, put most things back in place, and hopefully start running my wiring for my uh, header tank at that point. But that's where I've been. Before I ended the video, I wanna go ahead and uh, show one more thing I did. Uh, later that day is I went ahead and mounted my uh, I 
put my shells on for my uh, my my D pin connectors here, and uh, went ahead and ran the wiring. Uh, this is for the uh, roll servo. Came out here, coiled up a lot of the excess wiring. Uh, I have this secured, going down through a tunnel into my seat, and coming out the other end. I got a lot of excess just kind of hanging around here. Same thing with the pitch. You can kind of look over there, see how I do with the pitch. Uh, ran the wiring back over here, mounted it right here so it won't move. Tie wrapped it to, to this guy here. Then they're both kind of coming up as a single unit underneath the, uh, the pilot seat there. So I got everything secured and I tell you, everything is really pretty solid in here. Now nothing's really moving. Um, I do have, you can see my really poor job of safety wiring. Maybe, maybe you can't see it. Probably better if you don't see that. Safety wiring uh, of these guys here. I, I'm not good at safety wiring, but anyway, uh, there's that. And uh, one more thing I was gonna show is, one more thing I was gonna show is uh, where the baggage compartment comes down here, there's a flat piece, I'll put the string in the way, flat piece right here. I'm gonna have to make an access patch or a panel right here and another access panel right here. There's another piece of aluminum going from here to here, a little flat piece. So anyway, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna call experimental accessories and order some more uh, some more of, of these guys here. Uh, I got this from, from them. They cut out uh, these, uh, you can use them for access panels, I guess. Uh, you put the uh, this part inside the skin there. So this is a flat piece. I'm just gonna put one right there and one on the other side as well. I'm gonna put a smaller one up here so I can still reach my uh, uh, the uh, pitch servo and the roll servo for that matter. So I'll put uh, access panel here and here on that flat part of that baggage skin there. And uh, something else I found was this extreme tape. It's kind of cool stuff. I was using this to secure some of my wires and uh, I don't think anybody else ran across this, but it's not, don't have adhesive on it but you can stretch it and it sticks back to itself incredibly strong. So I, I cut off like an eighth inch or maybe three sixteenths inch piece and was wrapping my, uh, some of my wire around with that. And uh, I don't have a example, do I? Yeah, maybe I do, but you can't really see it. That piece right there, I just wrap it around really tight and uh, that stuff works great. And in fact, I used it for that, that, that piece right there as well. I just kind of wrap some of that around it really, really tight instead of using heat shrink. And that stuff is solid. It's not going anywhere. So anyway, good stuff.